hi good morning um it's tuesday and we are back it feels like i haven't done a video for about a thousand years um yeah it's been busy six week holidays um kiddies went back to school just over two weeks ago now um and then obviously we've had a um an upheaval here in the uk we've had um we lost our lovely queen um so it kind of didn't feel right doing a great deal um last week it was very sad um really sad actually um but onwards and upwards and uh, keep calm and carry and all that so um we're going to get back to it um and get back on with uh where we were we were at a tim holtzathon um these are the tags that i made very recently um that's the selection of them and these were to go in my tab book that i'm going to make i've been planning to make this for ages now and um i was intending to do a prototype but i haven't got around to doing it what with everything so i'm just going to go for it um i haven't got time if i leave it any longer it's going to be christmas before you know it and we just need to crack on don't we i mean i've had um 10 nil changes since then and kids have been back weeks and it, it, time's passing us by so let's crack on shall we so my idea is and i've made these before and i really really like doing them susie from shabby soul makes these beautifully um and i've seen i think tracy fox as well um make them too so um the last time I made them, they they, they went down with a storm. So uh, we're going to make another one. So basically, I've got my hands on, if you recall, many moons ago, a massive Tim Holtz haul. I mean, I bought loads of stuff. And they was, these will have a name, and I can't remember what it is. They've got a bit bent in here. But these scrapbooking sheets, or, or whatever you want to call them, um, they're double-sided. I bought a couple of packs of these and I love them. I don't think there's a pattern I don't like. Yeah, sorry those. Um, I don't think there's, there's a pattern that I don't like. Um, yeah, they're beautiful. So I've decided to use these because they're a bit different from the standard paper packs that you get. So I've cut down a few pieces. I used the scraps as best I could as, as is the plan. Um, and I've cut them down and you can probably see I've cut them down in a variety of shapes and sizes. Um, Obviously, the tallest piece, that's going to be the, the tallest size of the, the size of my journal. So that's kind of uh, just over seven and a half inch. Um, and then the widest piece is this one, which is just over four and a half. Um, so that's kind of the dimensions that we're going for. I want these to be ad hoc and sticky out. I'm not going to be sort of doing that and keeping them all at the bottom. This I decided to, to go pink for my cover because I thought it went really well with these. So this is going to be sort of somewhere in the middle. And then we're going to tab bind these. Um, this one I like sort of jutting out a little bit. And I'm just going to sort of stagger them and layer them. And I like the little bits peeking out every now and then. And I like the really different styles. Um, so I've got, how many have I got? One, it must have been about eight weeks since I cut these down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of what I want to do. I do also want to, and again, I haven't planned this out. I want to chuck some of these in because these are the extra ideology little bits that I bought. Let me just put my tags to one side. So these are what are going to go in pockets and such. I don't know about a topper. I don't know. That's annoyed me. I don't know what I'm going to do on the front yet because they're a bit big. Um, I bought the, the little, um, the frames, the, um, the window frames that are like really thick. Um, I think they call them base boards. Yeah, base board. Um, and I'm thinking, which I think is actually what I did with the previous one I did. One of these on the front, because I really like them with a, with a wee person behind it or something. I don't know. We'll have a think, but aren't they fab? They're so cute, I quite like the white one. Yeah, I mean, look at the detail on them. All the chip paint and... Cute, love it, love it. Um, so, put these away. I'm going to do this um, project in a couple of parts because my videos go on and I do waffle, so 
we'll see how many parts we can keep this down to so those are the tags that's gonna be the, the toppers we're not sure what we're doing yet um oh i should show you these these are the linens um i bought some very basic have i got the plain one huh. just some really basic um cheap linen and then i've dyed them um to make them look all grunge and vintagey and then the idea is i'm going to pull strips off and cut these down and this is going to be the tab binding i think previously i did it with um the fabric the tim holtz fabric tape but i wanted to have a go at doing this because i think they're really cool um i did film um i think this one me dying this one and um but again that was ages ago so i will put it up um but yeah bear in mind it was it was quite a while ago before everything went crazy so if i make any odd references in there please do ignore me so these little bits so these are the file cards and i thought it might be cute i think they're all the same oh no they're different oh so they're the little inserts that you get okay and then you get the oh and some little cards useful oh they're plain they're plain now obviously you don't i mean the idea of this series is they're all tim holtz stuff and and just a few of my little ideas of how to use them um of course you don't have to use tim holtz stuff. you i mean this is just a piece of card you can cut down a piece of card um tracy fox has got a great series on how to sort of hand make your own tim holtz-esque ephemera um if you don't want to have to fork out and buy it. I mean, I trap myself with all this. Um, but, you know, you can use little corner punches, um, you know, snip these down sort of round the little corners and, and make some little tab bindings. We Are Memory Keepers do a, a little tab punch board as well that you could use. Um, I mean, there's lots of different ways to do it, but have a look on Tracy's channel um, and some of her vids if you want some ideas. Or splash out, treat yourself and get the Tim Holtz stuff because it is really cool. So I want one of those in there and I think I'm going to hinge that as well. And then I'll have the little insert. These are, oh, those are the photographs. <laughs> I just put them in the wrong way. Or maybe I'll have one of those on the front. I'm not sure. So those are the snapshots. And then these, the mini file folders, which I haven't even opened yet. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So these are folded little oh they're cool they would be cool just to make mini journals out of actually yeah i don't think i'm going to put one in here i think i'll make a mini journal out of these yeah okay so we're going to stick that one in then so that'll be seven pieces i think so what i did with my i'm about to get these in now what i did with my previous tab bound journal uh was um i took lots of little scraps and i created the pockets with them so i'm going to try and keep these in some sort of order because i i think i did go through and decide that you know i was quite happy with the the layout once they were opened each page because obviously the backs are all completely different there wasn't anything too jarring to me i was quite happy with it i like that i don't even know if i want that the other way around actually No, I don't keep that as a back. Um, so these extra little scrappy, scrappy, scrappy bits, I would use as the pockets, stitch them, and then take it from there. So, yeah, let's crack on then. Right, okay, so this is going to be my front cover. Obviously, this is going to be embellished. Now, as I'm stitching, I have to be mindful that they're two-sided, so I have to really think about what I'm doing. So I'm going to get some paper clips out um to start with because i'm going to clip stuff in place how have i not even opened this box yet where's the thing are you the thing try not to impale myself on camera ah no. right so let's get some clips out so we're going to have a, a thing on the front. Now, I want that raised quite a lot, but it doesn't mean I can't have something hanging down. So, so let's do this like this. This is going to be my first page. So on here, now I want something quite contrasting with that side. 
Um, so let's have a look. You see how many scraps you end up collecting? Um, so I've got the pieces of vellum as well. Now, well, that must just be one of the little ephemera pieces because it's curiosity. Do you fit? Oh, you fit there. Oh, you would be a cute little pocket. I like that. And we could have a really tall tag in there. I don't know if these are going to be a little bit wide, but we could do a really tall tag there. So let's have that. And I'm going to stitch that on. So back to this side. Now, we could have tags. We could have tucks. Um, we could have belly bands. This is going to be really boring, isn't it? If I don't... I just sit here umming and ahhing at you. See, that's a bit small. What else have I got? What else have I got? I think this is some of the worn wallpaper. Um, do I want you? Maybe I'll have that because that's one of the, you know, in the paper pad you get the cutter parts at the back. Why well, doesn't really stand out enough though, does it? No, I want something that stands out. I want a really dark piece but not that maybe some blue maybe some blue so if I just mark I'm going to cut it there and what I want to do is and what I did last time is do a torn sort of top and bottom so it looks really rough and rusticky so i think the top is trimming anyway come back to the cutter so we'll just trim that i think we'll do a little thumb thing do for to um so we can get the thing out Should we use this use the big one kind of why am I doing it like that why am I doing it upside down why am I making my life difficult don't quite date one no it's probably nothing like but kind of and then I want sort of tear there and we'll have the torn piece hanging down so let's see how that looks on that side yeah I like that yeah so we'll have that stitched there and obviously we're going to embellish and decorate all these different pieces so we've got those we've got a tall pocket this is fiddly so this side I don't want to cover up where it says Gothic Arcade. I mean, you see, we don't have to decorate every page. We could just embellish it. We don't have to have a, a pocket on each page. I do want this at some point. But not there. So, I like this map of base. Maybe I'm going to do a side tuck there. Let's do that. So, I want something to stand against this. Ooh, which bit? Um, there are no other. Oh no, I like you. Yeah, I'm gonna have that. I like that. So let's just trim that because I don't want to get rid of that bit. <laughs> where is it where is it like seriously i did just draw that didn't I? i'm not going bonkers what the oh it's there it's on that side it's that side it's there it's hiding it's there my word has it been that long literally all i've done the last few weeks is just keep on top of the 
the Etsy orders, the create and craft orders. Um, Etsy's been quite busy, which is nice. Um, yeah, and that's it. Just sort of keep things ticking. Yeah, then we'll leave that like that. Now, that side, I want something quite jarring because that's really similar. So maybe... I'm going to use the scraps. Give me the scraps. You're not scraps. Get away. You're not scraps. You're not scraps. Oh, this is this is the point. We want to use the little bits. You know, they're, they're not cheap, these Tim Holtz bits. And they're too pretty to throw away. So we want to get them used. Right, the dressmakers thing. I do really like that. But it's too neutral. It's too plain. Which actually kind of makes me wonder... If I should have something up here. When we embellish it, we will. We'll do it that way. Right. What about... Some green or... I do really like the blue, but we've had some blue already. See, this is why I should probably have thought about this oh i know that's not a huge contrast but that's cool i like that should we have you let's have you on that side there's a little pocket um just trim that down And no, I'm not saving that bit. Even I will throw that away. She says if she can pick it up. Right. So you were there. Right. So that's that side, isn't it? This, I feel like might be a nice place for this, but I wonder if I might hinge it that side. And then maybe have a little hidden thing behind as well. Ooh, let's do that. So... I think here I will go with a dressmaker's thing. Where's the bigger piece I had? Maybe, just just maybe, I should try and be a bit more organised when I do these. What do you think? There. Hmm. Hmm. I see it. Not convinced. Well, you're a good fit. So let's have that. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to have this hanging. So I'm just going to gently tear the bottom. Although I did want to tear it the other way so the white bits were showing. Can you, I do hope you can see what I've been doing. Shall I zoom in a tiny bit? There. So. And then have that flappy over here. I like that. So let's do another little thumb hole. So let's shove that inside. Don't don't you fit? Are you are you not supposed to fit? Eh? But surely that's the point. Oh for goodness sake. Right. Now I want it to fit. I'm cutting it down. I'm cutting it down. Surely that's kind of the, the whole point. Anyway, so that's going to go th there. Ah, now you see. Hmm, I don't like the neutral and the neutral. Ah, so do I do you that way and that way? Is that better? I think that's better. But I did like that. So... We're gonna to have to have something pretty pretty bold on this side. So let's let's pin this in place so we don't forget. So that's lined up with the bottom. And then 
that side. Yeah, I want to, right, so this needs something really dark now. Possibly also hanging down to hide all of that. Should we have that? We'll have that. Let's measure that at the same width. Probably lose the pencil mark again, but there we are. It was about there. And I'm going to tear the bottom of that as well. That way, because I really want the white showing. I don't think I'm going to do any inking in this either. I think I like the, the brilliant white sort of hanging down. Yeah. You there. And then this side... I think is going to be a side tuck or a belly band or something like that because I love those flowers and I don't oh I don't know oh, small I don't really want to cover them I was so excited then by that um I'm determined I don't want to use the big pieces I want to use the scraps maybe we'll have a should we have some vellum should we have some vellum birds that could be cool You see i like that and let's trim that down i'm going to zoom you back out slightly because i feel like you're missing all of the exciting paper shuffling i know i got the bottom of the card then i'm touching now i don't know why i even attempt to do this for a living I'm terrible at cutting i always do that same with fussy cutting i can see that i'm like going in the lines and cutting where i shouldn't be but that my hand just does no i have no control over it does what it wants right right we want a top something now i want something at the top i haven't done any of that so shall we have some organization for a start can you see i want we're going quite blue, aren't we? And yet these are really bold pink colours. So do I want something a bit more... I don't know anything, any more colour tones, really. I want to find some of the black florally stuff. That's what I want. We may have to, we may have to break my own rules and hack into... You see, this is some of the warm wallpaper, which I love. Um, should we have a bit of that? I was going to break my own rules and hack into some of the black that because I really like it but perhaps I'll have some of this instead why are you a different size because I've got two packs that's why I think this one is the last year's Halloween one I think she says it does look quite gothic -y. whereas these are a bit um, more pretty and sort of shabby cheeky vintage um these are the journaling cards so we're not using those these will probably go in some of the pockets um so let's get them to one side and then these are the rest of my off cuts that's more wall paper and more wall paper these are some random scrapbooky pieces. More vellum. Wouldn't it have been good if I'd have thought about all this before turning the camera on? This is another project we're going to do. I've got one of these and I've got one of the fabric ones somewhere to create your own little... I'm going to do this. That might be my next one. 
been hoarding this for donkeys. And I really, oh, yeah, 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 there's the fabric one. And I'm going to do that one as well. And I'm going to slow stitch on this one, I think. Which is something I don't do very often. But when I do do it, I really like it. So I'm going to do that. Right, these are the rest of the offcuts. So I might find what I'm looking for in here. These are small journaling cards. So these need to go over there. All right. There's literally, I'm pretty sure half of this is the contents of my bin. There's some tiny washi, we don't need that, and a random, whatever that's called, one of them. Right. Okay. Okay. So. I'm looking for the black florally. Pattern. I really, really want to find it. And of all of these pieces, surely, these are ephemera pieces, surely there are some somewhere. Ah, well, that's, I think that's the piece I found. So that's, <laughs> that's it so far. Oh yeah, I think it's going to go in there. My word, all these scraps and not one of them is the bit I'm looking for. Oh, why would it be? See, there are the other bits. What's on the other side of it that might help? Something yellow. word and there's uh, eh, I mean I mean I could use that shall I sort of fashion a piece should we do that because I haven't got any and I don't want to break my own rules so precious are you wide enough for you It's about a millimetre off. So I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting it because I want to. I want that on there. Um, oh, you don't fit in that one. Of course you don't. Why would you? I'm going to cut the smallest slither. Like that small. Because I really want you to fit. Yes. And then let's. Let's sort of do that. Let's just to lengthen the little tuck that we're going to make. So we're going to make that. Right. You're going there. You are. There. And you went. There. Right. I like this here. I think. Oh, I'm going to put you at the... Uh, yeah, now I'm going to put you at the bottom. So this needs trimming down also. And give that a trim. You can go there. I wonder if I might do something else a bit more interactive. I wonder if I could have a different... I don't know what. Should I do another little flippy-outy thing in a little baby pocket there? Can I do... Is that crazy? What way up are you? Probably that way. 
Not that paste, that paste. Right, because I'm obsessed with this now. The world's smallest pocket. There. And then you, or shall I put you the other side? Let's put it that side because it's going to flip out there. So we want it there. So possibly upside down, but let's roll with that. There. And there, so we have to tab that on. So that's that. And then the back, I don't know if we're going to do anything on the back yet. We'll find out. But so far, that's that. So we're going to do something on the front. We don't know what, but we're going to do something on the front. So let's zoom you in to see this. So something on the front. So we've got a pocket there. That's going to be stitched at the bottom. We've got a pocket for a tall tag there. That I like. Now we've left that blank for now. We shall see. That's a side tuck. We've got a pocket. We're going to have a little flippy out with a pocket underneath. Pocket. Vellum pocket. Top tucky thingy. Flippy outy thingy with tiny pocket and back page. I think that's pretty good going. So this is the bit where it gets complicated now because you have to kind of think how you're going to stitch each piece to not disturb the other side. Interesting. So what I'm going to do, what are we on? Half an hour. So should we leave this as part one and do a little mini part three or should we crack on? I'm going to pause it and I'm going to come back. I'm going to organise myself, come back and we'll crack on a little bit longer. Right, won't be long. Not that it matters. <laughs> hey, right, so we're back. Um, oh, sorry, my audible's just about to start playing again. Go ahead. Um, right, so we've got the bare bones of our journal that we're putting together. And then what I thought I'm going to do before I start stitching pockets is decide what's going on the front um because then once i figured that out i can see sort of on the back what where i can and can't stitch and you get the drift so I'll take the rest of the journal away for now this is my front cover and what i want i do want to use one of these little window frames um <laughs> that way that way that way oh my word what do you reckon? It's going to be mortifying if it's upside down, isn't it? I mean, is that, the, is that meant to be the sill at the bottom? Oh, God. Anyway, right. Well, that's going on there. Then I've taken a piece of the, um, the antique wallpaper and I want that behind. So I'm going to do that. And then I've got a wee girly who I want to sit in the window so I think I want I want some of the pink flowers showing so I think I'm going to go here so I'm just going to bring that to the corner and I'm going to come in slightly so I know where to cut kind of bearish so I'm going to cut this piece out and then glue it to the back I mean, you're not going to see the edges so it doesn't really matter but we're going to try and do it straight if we can i mean that's that's never seen straight but there we go and then we have another scrap so this will go there but straight i really wish i knew which was the top i'm leaving it like that i think I don't know. No, that doesn't look right. Right, okay, so it's going like that. So that's going to be the front. My wee girl's going to sit at the bottom. I do want her to stand up just a tiny bit more. So although I said I wasn't going to ink, I am just going to ink around her because these white edges drive me insane. So 
And let's just dull those down a little bit, little girly. Kind of. I want to give us some wings. So we have these. These are the uh, transparent wings. So let's pinch some of these. I think I want a colour. Some of them are properly just see-through. That's huge. Too small. I want some like these. But I want a colour if they have one. Oh, I'm going to have to find two halves. Oh, I feel like I'm going to end up messing about two halves, aren't I? Um, let's have... I'm dropping them, I'm dropping them. <clears throat> let's have... Are you the other one to that yellow one? Why can't I pick them up? Is that a bit samey? I know I don't like that. No, I want this style, but I think they're all plain, aren't they? What do we think? Can you even see? I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Are they the best wings? I need some bigger wings. Do, do we see enough of the wings? I mean, surely we don't want humongous wings. So what about proper butterfly ones? No. Those are too big. No, we're sticking with them. We're sticking with them because otherwise you're going to be just sat watching me do this all day. So... I'm trying to pick that up. It's a piece of power. You can't see it. Um, <laughs> never mind. Uh, so let's stick these back away. We'll get that glued down. Although I'm not going to stick the frame to the front just yet. Because I think the next step then is going to be to stitch no. the pockets in. And once the pockets are stitched in, then... We can start the binding and then we can start decorating. Now, so let's get this glued down for a start. I'm going to use some of the art glitter glue. If it's not all, I mean, like I said, it's been that long since I've done anything. It could be all mouldy for all I know. Good dollop of glue. And then that way. Because I definitely want that pink showing and I want the wallpaper to look straight. the front so let's give the girl the wings let's stick them on i'm hoping that this is going to stick nicely and she's going to stick there sit there even like she's just sat in the window so, there we go um, now, in the meantime, just let those just dry a little bit. I want something else on here. So I do have some, as I said, it's a Tim Holtzathon, the um, ruler ribbon. 
and I like this. I also have, you see, I've got all my decorative Tim Holtz, you can't see. I've got all my decorative sort of Tim Holtz stuff out. I've got lots of little bits. Um, she says, what have I put, where have I put the other ones? All right, well, I've got all my baseboard pieces in here. So these are going to be all the bits that we decorate the pages with. I did have... Oh, it's here. Mm. Big pile here. So some frames. So we've got some stickers. They're the Halloween-y ones. Some scrappy, scrappy, scrappy fabric -y bits. I definitely want some fabric on the front, some texture. Um, maybe a bit of black text. And then they're the Halloween people. So... I want some, I don't think I've opened this one either. Stitch scraps. I've had this one a while, but I've, no, I don't think I've opened these. Um, I don't want red. I know that. I want black. So, not red, not red, not red, not red, not red. Ooh. Big enough, not big enough. I mean, do I go, no, it's not. Do I go something like that? And then, you see, this is back to me not knowing what to pick on these. Do you remember, if anybody watched before, I always think, what, well, how do you, how do you choose what to put? I mean, they're very nice, you know, and I, I appreciate the sentiments, but I find it hard to decide, I mean, what to use. Little girl, eh? What would the little girl say? Dwelling possibility? I mean, she can't be more than seven. No, no seven-year-old saying that. Dwelling possibility. More like, can I have a snack or... Can I stay up? I'm not. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Forty times a day, like mine do. Um, make a wish, hello friend, beautiful day. Be true. Like I said, I like the look of the sentiments. I just find it hard to choose one that I don't giggle at. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Tell your to collect beautiful moments. Life is a grand adventure. That's one way to put it. Um, life is a never-ending pile of washing up, more like in my house. Best day ever. That's what my daughter says. She likes saying that. It was her birthday last Wednesday and she was six and that was her best day ever. So let's have best day ever. So what do we think to that as a cover? I think I'm going to do a bit of splishy splashy, maybe, and a bit more, I want something else, I think. But so far, I reckon that's my cover. I think I am still going to have some of this, you know. I do like it. For balance. She's there, living her best life, having her best day ever. I'll have a little bit of, a little bit of that there. Do we think? Are we going to see it because of the binding? Mm, no, I don't think we are. And I don't want it like that. Underneath the top, do I? No, because you can't see it. Better if you could see, wouldn't it? No, I don't want that. I don't like that. Change my mind about that. Um, let's have a look. So these are the baseboard chips. Let's move on from the, the awkward sentiments. These are the baseboard chips that I'm going to be using to decorate the inside. So maybe one of those on the window. I don't know. It feels like it needs something here. Kind of, you know, um... 
There needs to be more. It's not, it's not enough. She's there. That's kind of central. That's towards the bottom. We've got little hanging outy bits. It definitely needs something contrasting. Maybe not a baseboard chip. Maybe just uh, something underneath. I think we're going to have to bind this page before I stick that down, aren't I? Let's not forget to do that, eh? Well, I like the green. Although, I feel like she... I have this weird thing that things need to be in threes. I don't know why, but they just don't feel balanced unless they do. You see, I for me, I think that is a gajillion times better. Best day ever needs to sort yourself out because you can't see it for a feet. But I think that is way better. That just, because there's one, two, three elements, I think that just feels more as it should. And then I kind of want something dark. I don't mean like sinister. I mean like some... <laughs> something a darker colour up the top um oh no you know when you just you just know when you see it that you're gonna know no i'm gonna think i'm gonna have a think about it that's gonna be the cover remember that because i'll probably forget so that's going to be my cover. That's what it's going to look like. And then I think then before we stick this down, I need to stitch. This, I think the cover needs to be the last addition. And at least it gives us a little bit more time to kind of decide if we do want anything else. I really like that. I'm really chuffed with that. I think that's cool. Um, so I'm going to stick all my other little bits back in here. I'm going to go away and stitch the pockets in now. Um... And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, goodbye. All right, so we've done the stitching. So we've stitched the front cover. And we've got the pocket on that side. We've stitched the next one all the way around. We've left that side blank. This one has given us the side tuck and a little corner pocket. That way. Um... Now this one, obviously we had to take this off. We stitched around and we've got the pocket on either side. And then this is going to be hinged like so. Somewhere there. Oops. Get on. This one, We've got the vellum pocket. I really like how that's turned out. I think that looks really pretty. And then the top tuck. Now, I these were the pieces that we fashioned together. Um, obviously, if you do the same sort of style as this you, and you don't like the threads, you can snip them off, but I really like them. Um, so I just, each each pocket that I've glued it, that I've stitched in, I put a thin bead of glue just to hold it in place, let it dry, and then I've stitched. This one I did the same because that's two individual pieces that I stitched a strip. Um, I glued a, a strip of glue across, uh, across the strip put them together and then stitch them together and then stitch them into place. So going all the way around. This one is going to be a hinged pocket. So we've um, we've stitched in the tiny little pocket and then because I wanted this to have the same look as the others, there's no pockets on there, but we've just stitched twice around just so it's got the same black um, sort of edging to give it a bit of definition, which I really like the look of. So that is that. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I have or I will be doing a little bit of dodgy editing because I think it took me forever to decide what I was going on the front page. Um, so if that seems a bit all over the shop, that's why, because I've just adjusted it a little bit. This label, I think I'm going to move lower down. There, we went with best day ever in the end. And my daughter's favourite phrases. So I want that quite central. This piece here. The stitching, I think, gives it some good definition. We've got our little girly with the wings now. She's going there. Just so you can see the... Be on best day ever. 
and then the little milk cap. Did I say, did I say there? No, I put it down here, didn't I? Oh, I'm lying. There. Now I might do something else on it. I'm not sure, but so far, I'm really chuffed with that. I really like how it's turning out. So I'm going to leave it there. That's going to be that video. The next stage is to do the tab binding. So as I said, I've got my linen pieces that I've dyed. I'm going to cut the wee strips down. This is a bit thin, but I'm going to cut some thicker strips. I think I'm going to go with the darker of the two linens. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to save this for another time. Um, yeah, and we'll do some do some tab bindings. So uh, see if we can uh, not stuff that up. Right. OK, well, um, good to be back. Um, I want to crack straight on with the tab binding. So these videos will probably come out fairly close together. Um, but I think I will add the uh, the video of the fabric dyeing as well, just so um, you can see how I did that, if that's something that interests you. Um, all right, cool. Thanks. See you later.